Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to back up your cell phone photos using Adobe Lightroom. It's really a spectacular feature and it's really quite simple to set up. So to start off, looking at my cell phone screen right here, you can see I have the Adobe Lightroom app already installed. And in order to make this work, you do need to be an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription member. And I'll explain a little bit more of that as we progress. So starting off using the Lightroom app, I'm gonna open that app. And first off, what you see is several different folders or albums is what Lightroom Mobile calls them. But these albums actually transfer into my uh, desktop version of a Adobe Lightroom Classic as collections. So as you look at the different ones that are here, notice the one that's highlighted, Camera Roll 2019. So I created that album. And then once you create it, you hit the three ellipses and you choose auto add from camera roll. And that's all it takes. Every time you take a photo on your phone, it automatically gets pulled in to the Adobe Lightroom world as, as we call it. So let me just show you really quick how to create a folder when you get Lightroom set up on your phone. So first thing I'm gonna do is go up towards the top of the screen where I see the plus sign, hit plus, and then I'm gonna create a new album. And then I'm just gonna call this one sample. Two. Once you have that created, notice it popped up down here at the bottom. Then again, all I would need to do is um, uh, tap the three ellipses and then choose auto add from camera roll like I showed you just a moment ago. And so from this point forward, it will everything that you capture with your camera roll will show up in this new collection. Okay. And uh, if you're like me, you take pictures when you're on trips. I use a real camera as well as I use my cell phone. And so often I want to combine all of these photos. So this is a perfect reason as to why to use this feature. So let's go ahead and switch over to the home computer now. <clears throat> now with the home computer, you can see I have uh, I'm in the library module and I have all kinds of folders from my actual external hard drive that are visible. And then I have, if I scroll down to collections, as soon as you set this feature up, which I'll take you through the, the last part of the steps to synchronizing, um, the folder, in my case, my original folder is camera roll 2019, it auto populated, but you can see I also have the sample and the sample too. These are my little practice folders. And whenever they have a sideways lightning bolt like this, that indicates that these folders are synchronizing. So once I take a picture, it would go straight into sample two on the cell phone in Adobe Lightroom, and then it would synchronize to the home computer. The way to get it to synchronize to the home computer, you do have to make sure synchronizing photos is activated. So you can find this by um, tapping the, let's just scroll down a little more there, tapping the cloud button at the top right-hand corner of your Lightroom screen, <clears throat> and notice uh, if you don't, if you have not set this up, it will say something to the effect that it's not synchronizing. And if you click on your gear, that will pull up your preferences. These preferences can also be found under the edit drop down menu, edit preferences. And then notice we have the Lightroom sync tab open. Once that tab is open, what is crucial to turn on is to activate is the specified location for Lightroom synced images. So toggle that check mark, and then you have to um, identify a folder or make a folder where Lightroom will put all these images. So I take a picture on my cell phone. I open Lightroom mobile on my cell phone. The photo is automatically transferred to the Lightroom space. And then because I have created a folder on my external hard drive, and here's the file directory, uh, and th that is where the photo will go. Is, as long as I open up Lightroom uh, Classic at home. So it'll go through virtual, through the cloud, and then the um, photo from my cell phone will reside on my home external drive. It's a really pretty cool feature. So you do have to set this up at, as you can tell, the years, the dates really mean nothing to me anymore because I set this up a long time ago. It really acts as more of a temporary folder. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I have that folder set up. Here are some pictures I shot over um, our recent 4th of July holiday, and they were all taken on the cell phone. And so I want to actually put them in 
a little better file structure on my external hard drive instead of in that temporary folder. So if you look at my external hard drive, I like to use things by dates. I have created a folder July 4th, 7, 2022. And so all I have to do is select a bunch of these photos. So I can use the shift click and then I can just drag them over to July 4th. And notice it gives me the indication that these are being moved on the disk. So it's being moved from that temporary folder that was in the year of 2018 into this exact folder where I want it. So once I choose move, I can see the status bar in the top left-hand cold, cold folder. I'm sorry, top left-hand corner. It moved the photos, but the photos are still here. The reason why the photos are still here is they are still in that collection synchronizing with Lightroom Mobile. So if I don't want them to be in the collection anymore, because I am limited how much can be retained and synchronized, I can now shift click, right click over these images and just say remove from collection. So they're still gonna be in that folder, the July 4th, 2022 folder, but they're no longer gonna be in this collection. And I'll show you that just by scrolling up. So I come back up here to July 4th and there are my photos and that's where they reside on the hard drive as well. So if you ever have troubles um, synchronizing or keeping your cell phone photos, uh, give this, uh, this workflow a, a try. It, it's worked really well for me and I think it's fantastic. And if you were happy with this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up or go ahead and check out a few of my other Lightroom videos.